so today we're going to make some plants using some of the paper scrapbooking leaves from the paper studio that you find at Hobby Lobby so I bought these three different kinds this is like that monstera leaf that everybody's so crazy about now it's kind of the implant and then these leaves almost have like a snake plant look to them and then these are the bigger ones that look like the snake plant so these are the three that I bought they retail for $4.99 and if you have the Hobby Lobby coupon of course you can get them for 40% off or 50% off depending on what kind of sale they're running so I bought these three and then I bought these clay pots terracotta clay pots from Hobby Lobby they were $3.49 but they were on sale for 40% off so I think I got them for like $1.79 and then I went to the Dollar Tree and bought this block of uh, floral foam. And then I bought this Spanish moss. So that these things cost a dollar. So altogether, I probably have like maybe $20 worth of supplies. And if I get four or five plants out of them, I'll be satisfied. So this is not necessarily to be economical in our crafting, but to be quick and easy for the crafter that doesn't want to you know keep a whole lot of supplies on hand because what I found out since I've been toting around two craft totes full of supplies for 15 years I'll get interested in something and do it and then I won't use it up so that's why I have so much stuff left over so I try to buy something even if it costs a little more to make exactly what I need and then be done with it so I won't have a lot of stuff hanging around I heard something jiggling in here so one of the pots may already be broken and that's kind of like par for the course for these pots when they have them packaged up like that so let's see what's what so far so good okay so here's the little pieces that's from the drainage hole they have in the bottom they're just hanging about so that's good no broken pots Yay. So we're going to put the rest of them to the side and we're going to work on the first pot here. Okay, so we have this one painted in a bright orange and that is my friend Carol's favorite color. I have some yellow paint that I bought. Uh, Theo likes yellow, Mill likes pink and green. So I tried to pick up those colors. Now I just have to remember where I put them. Somewhere in this room so I can, you know, make their little gifts I have for them. Every now and again I'll do something homemade or DIY and share it with my my doll buddies so this is Carol so we'll start with hers and it may take a couple of uh, coats another thing I like to do is I also like to paint just the inside rim of the pots you know so if I don't want to fill up the pot with the moss and there's some you know, a little space peeking through, then it looks like the pot's been painted inside and out. You don't have to do the holes inside, but I do like to make sure just the inside that might be visible at the very top is painted so nothing shows through. Like that. Okay, so we'll let that dry. All right, for this next pot, I'm going to paint it white. And what I did, I used the white acrylic paint, but I also put some glossy Mod Podge in it to see if that would give it more of a glossy finish 
when it dries. broken pieces in there from the drain hole that was punched out a little uneven pottery places in there set that down and let it dry and next we're going to do our yellow pot okay so the last pot I'm going to do today is this yellow one and it's probably gonna take several coats of this yellow paint to show up on this terracotta but that's okay we'll just keep putting layers on till I get it the desired shade that I want it she likes, Theo likes sunny yellow and gray and silver. So I thought I'd make her a potted plant. And then when I find the right shade of pink and green, I will make Miss Mel one as well. So we have our pots painted. I may need to go over the yellow one in a little while, but the white one and the orange one, I'm pretty pleased with those. So we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys. So now that our painting is complete, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how I set up a couple of these potted plants. Now, I bought this block of floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I really don't need a whole lot of it so I'm just gonna carve me out a chunk of it I'm just using a pair of scissors to do that like so And I'm just stuffing it down inside the pot. Now it's pretty snug. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm not even going to bother gluing it in there. But what I am going to glue is this Spanish moss on top. So that's what I'll be gluing into the pot. So let's just see what's going on. Give my glue gun a chance to heat up. Had to buy a new one. My old one, I melted it down. I left it on too long, but I've had it for Aww. a long time. And since I didn't do a lot of heavy-duty crafting, I really didn't need this big gigantic gun like I have now. So I, am, I have an upgrade now. But 
the old one, it served me well and I should miss you. Alright, so we're just opening up the Spanish moss. And let's see. This is the inaugural voyage. For this glue gun. And here we go. So I'm just putting a, a layer of glue in there. And then I'm going to take some of this moss and just press it and kind of tear it up a little bit. It's quite long strands here. And I'm just pressing it down into the glue. And it is messy. It is going everywhere. I'm going to trim off the long strands. And the glue strand. Okay. So that covers... Uh, floral foam. I imagine you could use little teeny rocks. Um, sand or anything like that. And this, these little leaves already come on these little wires. So all I'm going to do is try and poke the leaves into the foam. Now looking at this now I probably should have put the leaves in there first but that's okay and what I did was just doubled it on the end like this just bent the wire and I just used these sharp tip scissors to make me an indention into that foam and the glue and I just stick it stuck it in turn it around the way you want it it looks like that leaf is kind of coming away And see, you get 12 pieces of these leaves, so that'll make quite a few, at least two plants, maybe three. I'm hoping. six leaves in this plant And I'm pushing them toward the center to make it look just a little more full. Alright, and I'm satisfied with that. So there's one plant. Very cute. Very spring-like. Alright. So I actually, I need to give a shout out to 
I think it was Wandy's World or Wanda's World. She's on Instagram and she posted um, the information about finding these leaves in the craft booking section of Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago. So this is not something I thought of. Um, Instagram and Facebook, you know, if you join those uh, crafting groups and dollhouse miniature and diorama groups, there are some very talented people there. And um, I'll make sure that I put her name in the description box below so y'all can check her IG account out and uh, get some cool tips. Show her some love. So this time I'm going to put the leaves in first and then we'll glue the moss on top. That'll make it a little bit easier. Let's see. We'll use these. I don't know the proper name for these plant leaves, but these look like snake plant leaves. That's what they look like to me. So you get 12 in this pack. Of these little single leaves. So let's see. We're going to use a couple of each kind. Okay, two of those. Use two of those. Two of these. Let's see what that looks like. We'll put the really green ones on the bottom around the edge. that they have this little floor wire that you can bend to get whatever shape you happen to want. Yeah, I might end up using more of this pack, this whole pack for this plant. But that's okay. We'll see how it turns out. just gonna kind of style the leaves and bend them into shape
move it more to the center of the pot. And then I'm going to put a little glue in here. And I'm going to use all this, these little moss pieces that I have laying around. I'm going to chop up some more. Make it a little easier to work with and just stuff it in the pot. So you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. in place. Just kind of bend them into shape. Alright, so that's my snake leaf plant. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the fact that I can kind of bend it and shape it the way that I want it. And I think it's really pretty. I love the silk leaves. It's like a silk material. For this one, this is more like a fabric. The other one was paper. The Monstera leaves were like paper. But this is really pretty. So I think my friends will be pleased with these as gifts. And of course, I have to go back to Hobby Lobby and make some for, for me as well. And I'll touch up the paint if needed but all together i think it's a cool quick craft and i am so pleased that i happened to see that instagram post okay guys so i went back to instagram to check the account name so i could give you guys some correct information and her name on instagram is wandy loves dolls w-a-n-d-y loves dolls and i i've known her for quite a while she's been uh uh, interesting diorama doll person for a very long time back in the days before Facebook and Instagram back when we only had the little um, board host message boards to uh, communicate with other collectors and everything but she has a great account so go over there and show her some love I'm sure if you scan her her Instagram account or her Flickr you're gonna find all kinds of diorama tips and uh, things and projects that she's done and made so this is our last pot we're going to do the yellow one and this plant is going to be a little little bushier because it has all the little leaves in it and there's only six pieces of these but you have multiple leaves on each stem they're very pretty and the little stems are thicker because they had to add in the other leaves so We'll go ahead and start placing them in there. stems of this so it's not going to be as bushy as I wanted it to be but that's okay like I said I like this enough to go back to Hobby Lobby and buy a couple more packs of these they're pretty these are silk like a silky material they're fabric 
I don't think I have to worry about them getting wet. move the little individual leaves as well so that's a plus kind of branch them out so that they'll spread out a little bit and look a little more full this one's kind of sparse because it needs a few more leaves but like I say I really like these I really do like these plants I am quite pleased with them So this is my little plant making tutorial as inspired by Wandy Loves Dolls on Instagram. I am quite pleased with my plants. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I still have enough to do one more of the Monstera plant. So I will make quick work of that and then the next time I'm over in that area I'll just pick up some more of these leaves I, I like this one as it is actually it's it's full enough for me but I would definitely have to buy some more of course to make more plants like this but it's very pretty I like it very realistic looking look at these leaves they're just beautiful the coloring on the leaves and the designs of the little striations and everything very pretty extremely realistic I didn't have to use any markers any paper I feel like for the cloth ones if they did get wet or something like that they would stand up to it um, these paper ones probably not but for the shape of the leaf I got 12 of them for $4.99 and then you can use your 40% off or 50% off coupon to purchase them at Hobby Lobby so all of this was less than 20 bucks and I am satisfied with spending 20 bucks for them to come out to look this well. So guys this concludes my um, little crafting diorama, my plant making diorama craft. I'm going to set up a little scene and show you how they look in the scene. Be right back. Okay you guys so now we're back and I'm going to set up a quick little diorama corner using the plants. And, of course, some things I have already, you know, put together in my collection. So, I'm going to use these uh, bright teal linen panel. It's one of those art canvases. So, I painted that already. I already painted that artwork. And so, I'm going to just throw together this little diorama right, real quick. I'm going to use this rattan chair. A little clear acrylic riser. Put that right next to the chair. And then this is the plant, the orange one I did for Carol. I'm going to put that on the little riser. It's acting as a little coffee table. And these are some ginger jars that I found on eBay. These uh, cloisonne jars that I bought. And it does come with a cap on it. As you can see. But I'm going to use it without the cap and use it as a plant stand over here in the corner. I'm going to pop the little Monstera plant in there and then this is the last plant this is Theo's plant and I'm gonna place that right there on the floor 
cozy little boho corner. And then to cap it off, I'm going to place my Aurelia Gray doll. She is dressed in a vintage Jordache fashion. So we're going to put her in the chair, queen that she is. Bend those elbows. And we have to get her sitting in this chair. Let's bend those knees. Get her sitting properly. Fix her hair. Got a little static going on from that rattan chair. There we go. Let's get our hair together here. Come on. That little one piece sticking out over there. All right. Fix her arm here. There we go. So now we have Miss Aurelia sitting in her little quiet corner over here. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like because that really helps my channel. Don't forget to share. And if you have any questions or comments, drop me a line. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And by all means, refer my channel to your other doll friends. I'll see you back in the next video. Bye.